Hello people, welcome to another episode, sorry I forgot about that, I'm going to point the camera at me. Hello people, welcome to another episode of the iMac G3 Adventures. Today I've got a bit of a plan. The plan is, um, basically I've sort of, um, I think my SSD has like outright died, I've sort of broken the adapter. So I've been hard drive moding, which isn't ideal as you can probably work out why so what i'm planning to do is um sort this out so i'm going to have a hard drive in here it's 40 gigabytes which is actually what it originally came with in the first place i didn't notice that until um today i never noticed the size um and yeah it's a seagate though that's the red flag and it comes with i think that on mac he actually came with not it's not original which only makes it slightly better but it is still a seagate and very well could die any moment so i'm not like gonna count on it but i i will pin here and I will eventually get back to SSD, don't you worry. Um, so, yeah. I've also been putting back the optical drive. So, let's um, tell you the plan. So, the plan is, I'm going to get Mac OS X Tiger on this little thing. But I'm also going to have Mac OS 9. Of course, when I do an SSD upgrade, I will have every version that these little thingies can run. But yeah, I've also got to make sure it's macOS 9.2. Or actually, I think 9.1 works. But point is, this is you know, a later model. This is like the 2001 model, so you do need to consider that. But yeah, I could theoretically also still do drive in there although i'm not very sure it's live you can't really see it but there's a drive underneath the optical drive i believe it's also 40 gigabytes but I'm, I'm, i might i might be misremembering um yeah so that's the plan so the only problem is i won't actually have my full mac os 10 tiger installation on it um, which is, you know, a bit problematic, but oh well. Um, you've got ways to get around that, I guess you could say. AKA just not have a bunch of stuff on it, only have like the bare minimums. But yeah. In fact, I've got a 10 gigabyte drive with it, although I believe it's in that iMac I put it in last night. Oh, God. Or it's in that drawer. But yeah. See you in a bit. Welcome to another episode of I Absolutely Hate Technology. And I'm not actually certain what I've done will work. Let's explain. Um, with the quads, that quad s stopped working again. The other quad... Um, so wasn't connecting to the internet. I genuinely don't know what was going on because I literally was using the same cable that was plugged into that iMac, which very much was working, and now it's not. So, yeah, I've got to grab a Ethernet from. Yeah, I could try that one that wasn't working to prove that. Oh yeah, it should be working. I don't want to magically stop working. Like the lights on. Look, the lights on there. So the one on the far left i don't know what's going on with that but um yeah um, uh, but yeah i'm now on the 2.0 um hopefully i could get internet access and then i'll copy over um stuff okay slight change of plan so um i couldn't get the the installer the tiger wasn't appearing so what i've just done is um gone on to um 
Well, I've put the high drive that originally came with my iMac G5 in here instead of this SS that SSD that I was planning to use something else, and it's got you know a Mac OS 10 install. I'm going to also do that. Um, get rid of the installer partition too. By the looks of it, I won't need it. Um. Okay, so cool. Now what I'm gonna do is do a restore. Um and yeah. I've also realised I could have just used my capture card to capture this section and I've got to type in my password. Way not fun, but yeah. See you in a bit, hopefully. Typical. To be fair, I can't really do that with a capture card where but what is that? No such file or directory. I don't know what that means exactly. It's not like the hard drive just suddenly got unplugged. God, this is annoying sometimes. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Please tell me what shall I do. I mean, I could pull out the hard drive in that iMac, but you can probably work out I really don't want to do that. Um, but I'm sort of out of options because if the installer doesn't want to appear, then what am I supposed to do? I could also switch to Mac OS 9 and try and get that running. <sighs> I don't really want to do that either. D to be fair, I, what my plan would be, take out the hard drive from that temporarily, chuck it in there, hook these two up with firewall and target disk mode to that, okay. Copy the Mac OS 9 install onto there and then update the Mac OS 9 install because I have actually done that before accidentally and it's worked so yeah also I'd have way more storage space I say way more 7 gig hard drive compared to you know like around 20 gig partition or that 40 gig hard drive just saying <laughs> but yeah, that's my idea. Is that a good idea or is it a bad idea? We'll find out. Problem the Mac OS install is just outright gone. Oops. To be fair, I could probably try and, um, what's it called? Thingy. I can't think of the name. Um, test disk whatever the recovery thing is and you know fix it up but to be fair I'm going to try the installer again just to make sure I'm not like losing my mind or something so um, let's do a restore um, okay so Mac OS 10 install DC and we're going to put it on partition 2 this should Make sure it doesn't like erase stuff and whatever. And see a bit, I guess. Okay, this time it appeared in startup disk. It didn't last time. Uh, uh, did it like just not copy over properly last time? Fingers crossed it actually boot into it and not like boot into, you know, that install or the Sorbet Leopard install or whatever. Well, it's only those two it can actually boot into, really, other than the installer. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. I know I've got that, the Mac OS 9 plan, but... Oh. oh, God. Oh, oh. 
Let's go. I could just target disk mode this map, couldn't I? And actually yeah, do it on the iMac itself, theoretically. I say theoretically because I'm, I was watching um, Rock K's mod Greg's um, video about the Backbest 10 Tiger and it basically wasn't working on a theoretically compatible iMac G3 it was like 400 megahertz um what's the problem cannot start up from this volume screw you what's your problem is it seriously like the i don't get that <laughs> Okay, I'm good going to target disk mode. I think that's quite reasonable. So I've also got to find where my um where's the where's the button to target disk mode? Oh flip sake. Um Unless it'll magically work if I magically reposition that, I doubt that. I think it's just because I'm using the IDE instead of SATA. Okay, I'm going to hold down T. I think it's cost, um, that get me into target disk mode. If not, I guess I'll have to reboot back into uh, the install and then hit the target disk mode button. Why on earth was it missing in the startup disk? Cool. Now I'll go grab a cable. And I just realized I probably should have put the hard drive I want to install it on in the actual iMac itself. Fine, I'll turn it off and do my plan. Okay, so uh, I'm now going to turn on the iMac just to check it fine booting into this as you see so it was there so it's plugged right at the front even though this cable is quite a lot longer than my 800 it's booting that's exactly what i want to see it's better work and i apologize for the flickering probably not much i can do i could bring up my capture card and hope that i've got like a VGA to display port adapter, but I don't think I've ever got it to work. Also, I definitely totally didn't steal it, but whatever. Um, yeah, okay, it's changing the Mac OS 10 boot screen, which is what I'd want. Oh, and it's actually booted into my install which is not exactly what i wanted i wanted to boot into the install blur it's not a big deal but yeah i'll see in a bit okay so i've turned down the resolution and i don't know if that will persist during the install lot um but yeah okay looks like no um yeah, hopefully it's now being in the install that I started. I selected it on the startup disk in Mac OS X. Just got to wait for it, I guess. Of course, these features are even more bought. But it's like vented in. I will replace the phones with these one day. Don't you worry. Also, this plastic is very weak, which is why that's broken. Although it did take a harsh fall, to be fair. But yeah, I'm going to skip through this because um, it's going to be very flatty. Because it is at 1024 by 768. Explaining, I've worked out why the um, partition map was messed up. You yeah, it, the, the what the problem was the, with the not cannot install on this partition. The partition map was like the MS DOS one, whatever it's called, the Master Beat Record. That was literally the problem. 
I believe that's because our last thing I did with this hard drive was install OpenBSD, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I've fixed that, and um, yeah, now it's letting me install. Um, so yeah, we'll see in a bit. Okay, so it's doing a minimal install because let's be real, doing a full install would be a waste of time. Makes it, you know, quite a bit quicker because I don't need language packs, I don't need printer drivers, I don't need X11 um, additional fonts, that's another thing, right? You have in the thing by default, but yeah, <laughs> see it in the underside. I can't remember if I was mentioning this, but. Yeah, I'm planning to put in all of the optical drives back in the IMAX. And I made the slight mistake of um, putting in the wrong optical drive in there. Um, the one with July 2001 is the one that was in here. But this August 2000 is from that one up there, the 350. So, um, yeah. This one's March 2001, in case you're wondering. You might be asking, why do you pay attention to these? It's just numbers. And the simple answer is, I'm interested in numbers. Don't judge me. Okay, it's probably about a fifth of the way, the progress bar. Just so you know. So, yeah. I guess for now I'll put in this drive, but I will eventually put in the original because... That one in there, that I, that was from here, actually started working again quite well. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Also, I'll make it much easier so the hard drive isn't, you know, dangling out like it currently is. Because that's really not the way that it's intended to be. I do also want to try and fix the um, power button situation, but I really don't know how. Yeah, so there's that as well. Because um, I do want to have the bottom back on and not have it all exposed. I know you've got the mesh to cover, but like still, I mean, you still have the RAM exposed. You know, have this sort of area exposed with that. But yeah. Also the ones with the VGA are pain to put back on because you've got to make sure the VGA is poking through. That's the one thing I do like about the three fifty, even though yeah, it really should just have VGA on it and firewire and the airport expansion. But yeah, okay, it's about just over a third of the way there, I'd say. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. This is installing, you know, quite quickly, and the simple answer is firewire. If I was doing this, like, from an SSD, SSD to an SSD on, like, here, it'd be, like, ridiculously fast. It'd be, like, a couple minutes. But, yeah, or SSD to its own SSD. But, yeah. Waiting is the game. Flashing warning because resolution. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna unplug the firewire. And let's see. That's what you want. You want Mac OS then. I will actually plug this back in because I want to get software onto it quickly in you know going in browser and stuff would be just way slower than plugging this in so yeah i'll put in you know classic boots minecraft um into web ppc um i can't really think of what else there would be to put on here also it's going to be weird because i'm going to be able to actually use itunes you know this is a G3 specific instance, so for those unaware, the latest version of um, 
iTunes for Tiger um, does not run on um, G3 CPUs. So you're just getting like an error saying, no, it can't run because it's a G3 CPU. Whilst if you're on, you know, it's like only a version behind. I, believe, I think it's like, is it 8? I think 8.21 was the last. But I want to see, there, were, there were like a couple more that were supported, or at least one more that was supported, but they didn't mention it. Was okay. Yeah. Not as far as this, but I mean, what is it? G10 one. <laughs> G10 one. I think this hard drive is from like 2004. Don't quote me on that. And look at what it is. Not sure if that sounds better or worse. Also, it's vibrating my finger. See? The other one's fine. I think it's... I think the dents are actually making it worse. Who would have guessed? But yeah, let's get free set up and let's get this sorted. I'm also saying, you know what, I'm going to actually show it down. I don't know if it's out right off, but go quickly unplug it. Um, and what I'm just simply going to do is put the optical drive in and lay it flat for my convenience. I think this piece of rubbish just died. Never mind, the drive lives another day. All I literally did was, like, put a jumper in. So I thought, eh, I die. And, uh, that's worked somehow. Not sure how, because... I'm guessing that jumper didn't actually do anything, it's just magically decided, you know what, I shall work again. Point is, this is still a piece of rubbish. Doesn't change that. Is it going to go back into the intro video, what is it going to do, because I threw it down during setup. Yes, do the intro. Again. I think this speaker's sort of quieter. So that's like not vibrant. Maybe it is the dents actually making it vibrant like more. Hello moth, quick moth flying about. Yeah, let's actually do this for real this time. Even though this stuff is still just as janky as it was when I turned it off. Okay. I had a screwdriver in my mouth, don't ask. Um, I'm good. There's an option to show displays in the menu bar. That's really quite useful for this. Just easily switch between them. Um, no more flashing. Um, well, technically, it is a bit, bit worse off. Um, yeah, so I'm not connected to the internet, but that's not a problem. I'm going to copy over some apps. <laughs> applications. Oh, God, it's really squishy. So I'm going to the... Leopard. I don't think I've um Adobe and stuff. Um copy over these even though I don't really play them. Um 
go off this. Um, I'll change this probably to no interweb. Um, obviously, support Sprite. God, it's not running on here. Control team might, I don't know. I'm assuming CS, like these are CS4 apps won't run on here. I don't even know if these are tight graphs. I, I feel like these are leopard because I've got, I know I've got um, Adobe apps on. Sort by leopard. I'm going to assume it's going to just pop up saying not compatible. Sign, sign, sign. Um, oh, not why there's a bunch of stuff missing. Why I'm missing the montage. And this stuff is good. Licensing. That's not quite what I was expecting. Licensing. Um, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the desktop apps. Um, desktop. So yeah, I get the Battlefield. The good old Minecraft. Um, put that on to the desktop. Let's see what um, Geekbench can do, whatever it is. Hopefully, put that in there. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like CS4 is for singles. Oh, wait, there's a outright Geekbench app there. Still side um Minecraft and eleven point two okay fine Mac torrent okay that should be pretty much all of the apps I need packages. Now I believe that's it. Oh, still not actually finished copying over. Oh wow, um, LibreOffice is giant. I don't want to surprise about that piece of information. And presumably all the Minecraft stuff copying over also quite big. Yeah. Oh, it's really starting to slow it down. Yep. Also the RAM slightly wrong. Oops. Let's ignore that for now. Also, yes, it's on ten point four point six, which is not the latest version. Should I change the wallpaper to something? Let's not have it as the flowers line just to make it to differ differentiate that this is actually the lighting school. And the vanilla wallpaper, while nice, yes, but it's a bit dull and boring. So let's just wait for this. Um, they call natures. That looks cool. 
that's what I used to have. I was going to say it's that one at night. Might go with that. The Nemo's. The Pebbles. I'll go for the Pebbles. You know what? I'm going to go for the. Well, it's actually the stones. But oh, look at the tiger skin. Look, I'm so inconclusive. No, I'm keeping it. Stones. Stones it is. Almost done. I want to do a geek boat. Hopefully, it'll let me. Um, but yeah, a geek bench would be fun. See how ridiculously low it would be compared to, you know, the other ones. Just make sure it's past it. Hopefully, it's compatible. Poor little iMac. By the way, my neck is actually starting to hurt. Don't really care. Doesn't really affect me. Only that for me being like 64 bit benchmarks. And I'm, I'm fully aware you can bypass it, and I have done it in the past. It's not hard to bypass that and actually do the 64 bit tests, but you know, this is not 64 bit. <laughs> I can't remember the exact scores, but I think with the quad, it's like, I want to say 3,000. And that is like quite a bit behind the quads. And then the Mac Mini is even more behind. Those are like the only ones I've actually done benchmarks on, believe it or not. But yeah, it's a waiting game. See you in a bit. Okay, so I've... Assembled it quite a bit if Silve even found Silver solution to the power button problem. Hence why it's actually got its bottom on. Um only problem is um it's not a very good solution. Basically I've just put a screw in there, so if you hold it down sort of towards the top because that's where like the actual physical button is, it'll work. I'm gonna try optical media. Uh oh, Oh no. Um, those are all good sounds I want to hear. No, they're not. Um, so I'm going to... Um, also, I should be pinging some apps to the toolbar. As you can see, the CRT is... Um, whatever the word is. So, Discord Lite. Um, technically I don't really need Geekbench, but, oh well, why not? Um, LibreOffice, G4, PowerPC, G4 is 1.5, um, Interweb, also it's currently not connected to the internet. That would be solved in a sec. Hey, I like how um the thingies sort of make it look like the Hallyu cord icon, which is you know green. Well, you might not know. Um. Oh yeah, I want disk utility. Um, that was the sort of goal. That's disk utility. That is in here. Where's disk utility? That is. Put it there. I don't know why I put it there. Normally it's more towards the edge. Point is, I've got it in a lot better condition than what it initially was. Oh yeah, the optical drive is not detected. Okay, I've put the CD back in. But yeah. Um, I guess I'll go to bed soon. I say soon, it's probably not that soon. Um, but yeah, okay, so no optical media for me today, sad, other thingies falling off, which, or was that one already there, and uh, that's a different one I put on, I don't know, here's one handed, this is a shitty 
um, yeah, buy yourself a, a third hand, or maybe a second hand if you only have one hand currently, or a first hand if you've got none. I do feel bad for people who only have one hand. Definitely could be a pain. Um, I do do um, a geek bench. Um, it took a ridiculously long amount of time. I'm talking like 40 minutes later. Um, and it, nothing appears. I, I guess it's just my impatience will eventually appear. But yeah. Also, I fixed the RAM issue. Um, weirdly enough, the stick that I swapped into here that I put in to replace the 128 meg actually was mislabeled as a 133 hertz um so yeah um i'd say let's get minecraft but the thing is i probably don't have java so i'm gonna i could try classic cube I'm not even going to bother with the why. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's complaining about no job. If I were to update it, it should just do it. But let's do some classic cube. Uh, oh, yep. Here we go. Oh, that, that text looks cool. That looks like it's been lol catted. Of course, I know that's not the case, but that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm not getting much FPS probably because the default settings are a bit high. Yeah. Um, normally I'd have this um at eight on here, but I'm gonna give it a bit more. I'm gonna give it thirty two. That's the minimum that actual real Minecraft would have, and it's still gonna run not particularly great. But I mean, look at it. It's trying its best. Also, this is like a slightly older version of Classic Cube, weirdly enough. But yeah. Um, um, I don't know if it's like. Sure, it's an early two thousand one. Also, yeah, I'm s um about this map. Um. Oh, by the way, question: What do cubuses have? I know it's you know a raid one twenty eight of some sort, but exactly what one would it be? Graphics best to play. It's a one twenty eight pro. It's got sixteen megs of VRAM, so that model should in theory have an 8 meg thing so this has a slightly better gpu also i am very much aware that the i'm gonna call it a lip i don't want you to call it that the bit for the optical drive bay is missing i think it's might be down there and also there's not really much i can do to put it on as it's probably you know of a bit dissolved but um yeah i've got your computer your imac setup here so also don't forget the hard drives the same size as the original hard drive which is quite cool um yeah also this should really be on its stand because of cooling, ventilation stuff. Yeah, by the way, I, I haven't like screwed this in because I honestly couldn't find the screws. Um, but yeah, so it's limited to what I gave it. 
ਤਾਂ ਆਤੀਥੇ ਆਈ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਭਾਰ ਤੇ ਅਮ ਯਾ ਤਾਂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਐਡ ਦਿਸ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਵਿਲ ਇਨ ਕੇਸ ਸਲਾਈਡ ਰਿਜ਼ਲਟਸ ਸੋ ਯਾ ਐਸ ਐਮ um yeah let's get it up for for this next two and so and I'll do some more stuff problem and by this problem should be very easy to solve as literally all I do is do a software update provided it's connected which looks like it is should be cable appears to be in um because yeah the software update app last time is that probably quite a few months ago it still works on tiger no luck with lower versions but tiger thumbs up yeah yeah look it's even a java update why those two those versions of java are out not new enough for minecraft but once I do this update, which will probably take a little while, like about 10, 20 minutes, um, it'll be fine. Um, it'll pop up with more updates and stuff. And as I said, here we go again. I think there might be one after this, or I'm thinking of Leopard. Um, or I could be thinking of both. But yeah, and I've got a password. Minecraft Can't jump, I remove the space bar. Um Yeah. Quite cool. I know this is old news, I know. I doubt you might be interested. You, ne you never know. Sorry about that. Um. Okay. Um think of things to do well see if I can use these screws here that I found see if I can get a slightly better solution to a power button problem I might have the answer by the way and it's change resolution not what I asked for um I'm not doing updates now. Um, yeah, so I'm good. Once again, disassemble. Um, for some weird reason, Macintosh Garden um, wasn't wanting to appear um, uh, loading into web. Go away. Close tabs. Yes, I want to close the tabs, you stupid thing. <laughs> I forced shut down. Of course, I can do that. Okay, I think I might have done it. I don't think that was actually properly shut down, but yeah, let's see if I can get this in even better condition. That's cool. It um, detected it what um, version I'm on and gave me the latest version. That's really cool. 
hot take. Yeah, actually, I don't think it's that hot take. All websites that provide software should just do that, and then you know get a little thing there, um, saying, "Oh yeah, if you're not on here, you can download the latest version." Soon enough, the latest version. Yeah, that's true. Skip verification, because it's useless. But, um, yeah, let's try this. That is cool. The applications are cool. Is that what Tiger uses? I would have thought they slightly changed it, like not had the lines. So that looked, you know, more early. Mac OS 10. Oh, you stupid thing. Let me find a window. Give me a normal window. Well, it's not got a thing. It's just got the thing. A folder in the background. So I'm just waiting for this. Oh, pigeon. Interesting. Pigeon. That's like a very similar software to what this is trying to do. I don't know if it even exists on Mac OS. I don't know. Maybe that's sort of succeeded it or whatever. I don't know. But the point is, Adium is what I'm trying right now. Okay, let's see. Will this work? Let's see if it's ready, but is it actually going to connect? I might need to enable the proxy. Also, this seems to really try and copy iChat. I'm not saying iChat's the most original. Oh, it shows like a little icon down there of it trying to connect. I'm going to assume it's not going to connect right now. Also, let's um, see how old, like what year, how old this version is up. 2010, okay. So it's from 2010. I sort of assumed maybe like 2013, but that's probably a bit too generous. But yeah, 2010, okay, that's not too old. I mean, it's newer than the iChat um, network. Um, um, yeah, I see. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've tried, um, to, um, what's the word, connect, I've, I've gave it even the HTTPS proxy, and the answer still seems to be no, I'm guessing this client is just still too old, it's just given me resolving here, no address associated with no to name. So, yeah, have luck. Now, I'll probably find a way. I mean, there's probably some XMPP client that works in like the web browser. Also, yeah, it's iTunes updated. So it's still going to remain green. The icon instead of blue. Yeah, it's still iTunes 6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yes, I absolutely would like to download it now. That is funny. Guess what? An update did appear, but it's not actually the iTunes update. So I think I'm going to need to update it manually. Also, I've not tried LibreOffice on here. I've tried it on, you know, like G Drive. Not on here, though. I don't know, well, no, I'm, yeah, to be fair, it's an Office software. I'm not really expecting it to be 
I'm, I'm kind of expecting it to be run. Oh, I think the proxy's interfering. Oh yeah, the proxy has issues with Apple stuff. That's probably why. Um, I've had issues with it before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I'll see you in a bit when I've got something better to do. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so annoyed about mine not having minus three bytes to download and install the checked updates. I've all done the software update for completely freaking out right there. Looks like, yeah, LibreOffice is just going to run. Let's um, get rid of all the Adium stuff, quit it out. iTunes can go technically into web can go as well yeah it does slow down a bit I, I think it is actually quite I, I do think it's running a bit quite a bit worse with the hard drive but it's not running as bad as I thought but look at it LibreOffice I believe this is from um like 2013 I would say am I correct yeah 2013 it works eventually <laughs> oh god yeah definitely gone to a halt I don't know if that's like RAM or what. You could look in the um whatever the task manager thing's called on here. It's just called is it just called system monitor? I think it's just called system monitor. I'll see it. When I see it, I'll see it. Or does it not exist in this version? Activity monitor. Oh, I scrolled right past it. Um, <laughs> um, using only sort of half the storage. Yeah, I think the hard drive's a bit eh. Not a surprise, it's a Seagate. Didn't mean to press open that. Oh look, a single J has appeared. Okay, now it's sort of been more responsive. Close without saving. Oh, look at that brush metal. I know, you know, later ones look a lot nicer with the skimorphism, but oh well. Shall we... Gonna keep this in dock because why not? Um, yeah, I can't really think of what else to do. Try and find an online XMPP, maybe. Oh, display icon has duplicated. Oh, now it's turned into volume control. Is the server still up? I'm acting as if it's like temporary. Okay, yeah, it is still here. Okay. <laughs> oh, this really does not run smoothly. To be fair, there is very much a lot going on in this world that you really cannot see either. And I need to fix that as well. The Stupid default setting that conflicts with full screening here. 
I'm going miles. Does that button change if you've got a mighty mouse? Because I would have thought it had a mighty mouse because this is Tiger. This is like probably like when the, I know you had my mouse released in 2005, but I don't know when exactly. Because Tiger was April 2005. And of course, this last version's from 2007. Um, it's not full screen in it, not like much is going to change. Okay, actually, that's a bit of a lie. It has changed because it's now pretty frequently in the double digits. You know what I was saying? But yeah, point still stands. Look at this beautiful little computer. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, I'll try and see if I can find like an online XMPC client that works or something. I also just remembered, oh, I'm getting like over 20 FPS, right? Seems to sort of stutter a bit. Um, what's the word I was going to say? Um, oh, yeah. Um, I could try Mac OS 9, so. Should I explain the idea I've got? So what I'd do, take out the hard drive in there, put it in the Pamac G5, like the optical drive would go. Um, sorry, I've gone blank. Yeah, put it in the optical drive's IDE slot. Um, I guess target disk mode this um then what's the plan after that um yeah so then copy the hard drive onto the mac os 9 partition and then um um and then try and update the mac os 9 partition that's the idea okay hope you understand okay um if you're wondering about the geek bench score there you go 153 kind of bit more than i expected but i guess at the same time it is the 600 megahertz model so i don't know um i think i've got Scores. I think I've got the scores for the other ones on the Sorbet partition just for a point of um, comparison so it should be in here um, documents it should theoretically be yeah okay so here's the quad on the Sorbet <laughs> um Here's the Mac Mini on Sorbet. Jesus Christ, the Mac Mini, terrible. It's also an X bench. I don't know what one that's for. Is that for the quad? Doesn't say. It says G5 Sorbet Leopard. I thought I would have done one full this but i guess no i probably have but i believe it i got like 2000 it might be on the on here on um let's see um no okay i don't know where it is Point is um quite a difference, let's just say. <laughs> God. Okay, so it gave me this error right after I copied Mac OS nine point one onto the nine drive. Um so that gives me a bit of hope. I 
don't know whether that will be enough for it to function. Fans are going crazy for some weird reason. Um, but yeah. I'm still seeing what Classic can do. I think Classic is 9.2 only? Question mark. Well, I say that it's got 9.1 there. So I don't know. What I could do is turn off the iMac, turn it back on, and see whether it can get into 9.1. Okay, um, let's try this. So I can press it, there you go, press it. Um, I'm not going to option, which might be a waste of my time, as it might just want to boot into... Um, Oh, no, 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 it's showing Happy Mac. And I'll try and change resolution as quickly as possible. Yeah, it looks like I've done what I intended to do. Um, it's showing the boot screen. That's the wallpaper I've got on the Mac OS splash screen. Technically, it's actually like behind your actual wallpaper, but whatever. Unless this is the default, showing quick time. I don't know, quick time would be installed anyway. Okay, has this changed it to 800 by 600 or is this actually um, thingy? No, this looks 800 by 600. Oh, oh, that's not good. Come on. Make your mind up on what resolution you want to do. Just blue screen with mouse cursor. I, I should probably just stop recording until it actually loads. But instead I'm... Oh, boot screen. Look! <laughs> yeah, to be fair, last time this happened, this is... Um, thing. Oh yes, the two countries of the world. Sorry about the flickering. I'm not quite in the country, I'm just here. You know what? Screw you, Canada. English. Not French. Not in Quebec. No, no. Uh, I skip this. Can I skip this? Using the magical man Q trick. Please tell me I can, because I don't want to type so much nonsense. Um, where's Q? I can't even remember. Um. Yeah, quit. I'll go onto desktop. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's change the resolution. Wrong down. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm happy. Well, quick, quick correction. I'm not happy about the wallpaper because where's my precious wallpaper? Um, it's gone. Why is it gone? It's showing the that's supposed to be like underneath um oh god why has it done this it's being annoying what Microsoft office do you think um yeah, I think this is 9.2.1, right? Not 9. Point no, it is 9.2.2. Ignore me. I'm confusing myself. But look at that. It's beautiful. Um. Let's go on here. Oh, it's going to complain about apps not being found. 
irritating. Oh, so I just do this. Well, it works. Please tell me it works. It should work. Why won't it work? Okay, there we go. So it looks like the recent app thing's not going to work. Um, start Classula. Okay, create a profile. Next. Okay, apps are slightly broken, <laughs> admittedly. But, look at this. Yeah, I think that website's dead. It's been a while since it was, like, well, classic. This would have been, like, a year ago since it last touched it. How do I change the theme? Because I want to change the theme to be the one that I use. I think mine's, like, the Nets... Um, what's the word? Not Nets, uh, Nets... Netscape, that's it. I don't know where to find it. Oh well. After a bit of fiddling out, I'm in Brutal Don. Um, for some weird reason, the... Um, what's the word? The... Uh, Standard login form was working, so I had to use the old one. I'm not certain why stuff isn't quite working. Why that wasn't working necessarily. It might have been the user agent. If so, I've changed it to um, Firefox like 31 or whatever. Um, bookmark this page. Um... Manage bookmarks because I want to put in the toolbar for reasons well known. Oh, we can do it like that. There we go. Boom. Oh, God. I, um, yeah, I don't want the images are like absolutely giant. I'm a bit confused, but hey, it's working. Ish. Yeah, so. Is there a startup disk in Mac OS 9? I will say there is. Yes, there is. Yeah, look at that. And if I hit restart, I should be teleported to the MacOS 10 Tiger. Oh, it's in. 640 by 480. That point is, it works, and that's all that matters. I might call it off here, so unless I can think of anything else to say, but yeah, if so, hopefully you enjoyed this and goodbye. If not, see you new whenever. Okay, new edition. I've been doing the software update. And it's been doing all of these Java updates one by one. So it does one and it's like checking for software updates. Oh, here's the next version of Java for macOS 10.4, you know, release plus one. Um, and yeah, it's been going on for a little bit, as you can see. And I just find that kind of funny. So, um, sort of conclusion thing bit, I guess. It seems to allow um, PC-103 RAM as long as the sticks are only 256 megs. So it sort of supports 103. I mean, sure, I guess. So I can't actually use... 
these two sticks they're 512s um they're pc133 that it was just giving me a black screen and one of the times you actually did turn on but um it crashed and then wouldn't show um screen again i think if i had my speakers unmuted it would have made the no ram beeping noises but i can't be i couldn't be bothered so yeah yeah it sort of does but yeah eventually one day i will upgrade this to the full one gig because don't forget this imac here was only um it's like one pound i want to say 65 this imac that you're seeing right in front of you um it didn't come with the hard drive but apart from that it was pretty much it also it had I think 192 megs of RAM instead of the original 128 which um yeah so yeah I think that's actually going to be it for today unless I can think of anything else to do the answer is probably not so yeah for real this time probably goodbye I have a bit of an interest in issue of, I forgot about the resolution um So I've put in two 512 sticks, unless like one's not in, um, these are like both 133, they both appear to be in, you can't really see it, but like they do appear to be in, like both clips are snapped, whatever, um, so I've put both in, and it's coming up with 512, let's see what, um, these are both, you know, 133, because I don't have my 100, um, Thing. So let's go into memory. Yeah, it's saying one slot's empty. When it'll be into macOS 9, it was complaining um, about memory problem. So I don't know if like, one of the sticks is just balked or what. But yeah, these are, uh, by the way, these are like matching sticks because I didn't realise I left one of the sticks in the I'm um the EMAC that I stole the one of the sticks from. By the looks of it I've got three five twelve PC one three threes. So yeah. What I'm gonna do is oh, re slot them and see what happens. If not I'll swap out one of the Okay, um update sorry for that flickering um i've actually managed to get the 512 megs one of the sticks working I, uh, this is literally the only compilation i got that was successful but i've now got 768 megs of ram in this thing ridiculous hopefully one day one gig but yeah i think that well and truly is it as you can also see i've connected it to the monitor but um yeah hope you enjoyed this and goodbye hopefully for real for real this time